So hello and welcome. My name is Alexander Eggers and I would like to give you my second tip for Office 365 and a pretty cool feature we have here in Office is a special service. Um, you have to register um, and maybe you get on a waiting list. Um, just watch this video till the end and maybe you get this service a little bit earlier. It's about how to find a meeting with other participants with the uh, AI. So the service is called calendar.help. So just go on www.calendar.help and you can register there. Let's see how this works. So first of all, I start with an email and I write to uh, my participant or my colleague and ask for a date. We need a date. And as you can see here, I'm asking Cortana because the email address, how we communicate with this uh, AI service is Cortana at calendar.help. And we ask Cortana, find a date for a Teams meeting uh, in the first week of July with Alex. And as you can see here, I'm talking about a Teams meeting. Uh, so Cortana uh, knows that she has to do a Teams meeting for this and not book a, um, a meeting room or something like, else like that. Okay, so we start with this email we send to the participant and to Cortana, as you can see here. What happens next? Uh, the next thing is that there comes an email from Cortana to the participant and that says, okay, hi, I'm helping Alex Eggers uh, to find a 30-minute meeting and below are some proposed, um, proposed times with Alexander is available. So Cortana looks in my calendar in Office 365 find some dates, uh, three, and send this to the participant, the external participant, and ask him if anything here is okay for him. And he could answer just by clicking on these uh, um, buttons here, like all times work, uh, first uh, tw 29th of June is okay for me, or none of these times work. So. Uh, the participants now can answer and what we're doing now is just to show you in this example, we say none of these times work. Um, so the next email, oh, when he clicks on this button, it uh, processes a new email and he just has to write something you can see here. It's already in this email, none of those times work for me, how about? And the participant can now enter a, a new uh, text what time is good for him. And as you can see in the red uh, text, I wrote the second week of July. So we just, she should just look for uh, uh, one week later for this uh, meeting. And then the participant sent, uh, sends this email out and we'll see what happens next. So uh, Cortana writes him an email with new dates. Uh, sorry for inconvenience, the last suggested times did not work well. And so let's see, um, we have new dates and uh, it's also the 1st of July, July 13th and July 14th, uh, 15th. And as you can see, I asked her for the second week of July. But in the second week of July, there was no free date. So instead of uh, writing just okay there is no possibility for the second week of july cortana just tries once more to find a new date and she sends a new one for the first uh, of july and for the third week of july um, and maybe there's a, a possible um, date so what's next um, the participant now can say okay wednesday july 1st is okay for me and when you press the button uh, it will pr um, produce an email uh, for Cortana and he just has to send this out. Next thing what happens is that also when the when one participant writes down that he has no time uh, for the for the first week I as the starter of this meeting get an email from Cortana when she says okay no need to reply just to let you know um, Alex uh, has um, asked for other dates that I sent him and just to to show you here these are the possible dates I sent to the participant I'm sorry so this is, I used my personal email address uh, in my business email address so it's, in both times it says Alex um, okay so 
so as me as the starter of this meeting I also get this information about uh, possible new dates that um, Cortana sends out next thing what happens when he accepted uh, one of the dates Alex um, Cortana writes to me to the uh, starter of this uh, possible meeting I've set aside 30 minutes on your calendar on Wednesday first I went ahead and booked the meeting as uh, the time you specified so we can now see that this uh, date is finally booked and two times first of all you can see here that it is um, a calendar invitation for the participant he gets I, I already opened this um, and he has to join this meeting um, and you, as you can always also see she already did a teams meeting uh, because I told her to do a teams meeting I think this is pretty cool and in my calendar, it's also um, that uh, she put in, the, she uh, books uh, this date in my calendar. I don't have to accept this anymore. It's just in there. And you can also see the start email that I wrote uh, uh, just to see why this date is uh, in my calendar. This meeting is in my calendar. Just to remember that I've done this. Okay, so this is the procedure how this works with calendar.help um, or with Cortana and when you register for uh, calendar.help it is uh, just an, a preview so when you want to start with this um, you can register and go on a waiting list or you watch this video till the end and you get the cool cupcake frosting code so you get early access uh, with our waiting list and skip the waiting list and you can start with this service. And um, so just, uh, just have a look in the options from calendar.help. Um, just a small view on this, uh, what you can um, enter here. First of all, you can say what times do you want to have uh, a meetings and what is the preferred meeting hour and the dates when you can do this. And also you can say attendees, make anyone on the CC line an optional, op optional attendee. I think this is also a good uh, option because what I did not tell you, <laughs> I'm sorry, when you find a date for um, around 50 or 5 persons or 10 persons in your company, Cortana um, looks up in the Office 365 calendars in your company and don't um, write emails to the possible participants she just looks up in the calendar because she has access and uh, then she um, find possible dates and send them to me to the starter of this meeting and say who can attend this meeting and and what might be a possible date and I can make it easier for Katana when I say okay what is in uh, who is in CC line is only optional so this is not really needful that this person uh, is um, participating in this meeting and also what I can say when is lunch and I can tell her never schedule a meeting at lunchtime and what I can also tell her is that I can say okay find a meeting with anyone for lunch so this is also something I could start and Cortana then knows when we have lunch it's at 12 p.m. noon um, okay, and, and I can also request a booking room. You can see here we have the red and the white saloon uh, here at EPC. And we can also enter telephone numbers, um, include online meetings and every request. We have this email communication ac um, acknowledgement and delegation is also something possible here. Uh, some of the things come new. Um, so they're still inventing on this uh, feature and I think this is really really great it helps a lot just um, for everybody who's watching this and uh, English is not your native language the only shame is that it's just available in English so unfortunately in Germany I cannot use this so often but I really think this is helpful so uh, I'm standing in front of the QR code so if you want to follow me uh, have a look at the QR code it's my LinkedIn profile and you will always get access to updates from um, Teams and Office 365 and you can also um, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube thank you very much
Goodbye.